hi guys welcome to another electronic clinic video tutorial today's tutorial is about making an automatic water tape control system before we start building this project let's start with the components we'll be needing for this project this is the solenoid valve we'll be using today a solenoid valve is an electromechanically operated valve the valve is controlled by an electric current now how it works As you can see, it has two coil pins, this one and this one. These are the two coil pins. Its basic working principle is just like a relay as the one you can see. It has five pins, one, two, three, four, and five. Now, these two are the coil pins. The metal one is the common and this is the normally open and this one is the normally closed. As in the case of a relay when we connect 12 volt and ground with the relay coil pins which are these two pins. The relay operates similarly. Solenoid valve has also two coil pins which I told you these two coil pins. And when these pins are connected with 12 volt and ground solenoid valve can be turned on and off so let me show you this by simply connecting the 12 volt and ground so for this you will need a 12 volt adopter which i have already connected okay let me connect this now i have these two wires and let me just connect and you will see this one and now as you can see so it doesn't matter which side we connect the 12 volt and ground it's, and similarly for the relay as you can see if I connect this one So now let's find out the current, how much current a solenoid oil needs in order to turn on. So for this, we will need a multimeter. I've already set this on 200 ohms and let's find out the coil resistance. So so as you can see, the resistance is 14. Point Two ohms. So R is equal to fourteen point two ohms. So that is R. So R is equal to fourteen point two ohms and v is equal to 12 volts so using the ohms law v is equal to i r i is equal to v by r so 12 volts divided by 14.2 ohms which is equal to let's use a calculator and that is 12 divided by 14.2 which is 0.8 amps which is equal to 800 milliamps so it means uh, we will need 800 milliamps to turn on this solenoid valve as this sunlight wall will be operated automatically so for that we will also need a relay we will use this relay as a switch for controlling the solenoid valve so watch my previous tutorial for the relay driver circuit design calculations that tutorial cover all the design calculations 
So we will also be needing an infrared sensor as the one you can see on the screen. This is a type of the infrared sensor which uh, gives a zero signal when there is something in front of the sensor and it gives a high at the output when there is nothing in front of the sensor. So we will use this infrared sensor for controlling this solenoid valve and this relay will be used as a switch. So now let's make a complete circuit diagram and a relay driver circuit and I will explain how it will work and then after that we will start the programming. So this is the complete circuit diagram. Now this one is the solenoid valve and these are its two contacts. The one contact is connected with plus 12 volts and the other contact is connected with normally open of the relay. As uh, in my previous video tutorials I told you that the type of relay I'm using is SBDT single pole double throw and this relay has five pins one two three four five the metal one is the common and these two pins are the coil pins and the one with the dot line is the normally closed and this one is the normally open now one side of the coil is connected with plus 12 volts and the other side is connected with the ground through an NPN transistor which is 2N22222 transistor which is most uh, commonly used in electronic circuits and it's uh, very easily available in any electronic shops. The base is connected with a 10K resistor and then the other side of the 10K resistor is connected with pin 13 of the Arduino. And as you can see over here the relay common pin is connected with the with the ground so now how it works as you can see the 12 volt is connected directly and the ground to the solenoid valve is fed with the help of this relay as you can see this other contact is connected with the normally open so when the relay is off as you can see the normally closed contact is over here so there is no ground and the solenoid valve is is an off state so as soon as we apply a signal over here it turns on the relay when the relay turns on this pin is connected over here so as you can see the 12 volt the 12 volt is coming from here and the ground then is coming from here all the way this way and it's fed to the here so the solenoid wall turns on so and when we turn off this transistor it will go back to its previous position and it will be it now it will be open so the solenoid valve will be off so this will be an automatic operation and this will be done with the help of this infrared sensor so these are the tx and rx leds and uh, the out the output of the infrared sensor is connected with pin 4 of the arduino and the 5 volt is connected with the Arduino 5 volt and the ground is connected with the Arduino ground. So this is the basic circuit diagram. And for the calculations of the relay driver circuit that how this 2N22 transistor is selected. So watch my previous tutorial. And uh, so that's it. This is the circuit. And uh, now let's start the programming and we will practically test this how it works. So now this is a program. Let's start with a relay. So that is integer relay is equal to 13. And now this relay is connected with pin 13 of the Arduino Uno and this relay will be used for controlling the, the solenoid valve. Integer sensor is equal to 4. So infrared sensor is connected with pin 4 of the Arduino Uno. We will be needing two flakes. Uh, so integer flag is equal to zero this is a flag and it is changed from zero to one and from one to zero each time sensor is activated so the sensor will be activated and deactivated uh, depending on when i put my hand in front of the sensor integer s flag is equal to zero sensor flag which is used to monitor the state of the sensor when there is nothing in front of it as in my previous video tutorials, uh, I have been telling you that uh, 
each and every Arduino program has at least two functions and these two functions are white setup and white loop now white means that this function is not returning any value and as you can see the parentheses are empty so it means that this function is not taking any arguments as input pin mode relay and output so as we know that the relay is used for controlling the solar line wall and it is an output device so that's why it's declared as output and digital write relay low and we keep the solenoid valve and relay and off state by default pin mode sensor input uh, as the sensor is used for detecting the presence of uh, any obstacle or hand etc so as this is an input device so that's why it's declared as input and uh, digital write sensor as high now white loop so the white setup executes only one time when the uh, arduino is turned on and then the white loop uh, runs infinite times okay now let's uh, use some conditions we have three conditions over here the first condition is uh, is, is used for if digital read sensor is equal to is equal to low as i told you in the beginning that the type of sensor i'm using uh, gives low at the output when there is something in front of the sensor and gives a high at the output when there is nothing in in front of the sensor so the first condition is true the first condition is true why because for example let's uh, uh, let's assume that right now my hand is in front of the sensor so it will give me low at the output flag is equal to zero and s flag is equal to is equal to zero so as you can see over here these two flags are already set to zero so the condition is satisfied and it will execute these instructions we will change the state of the flags so a flag is equal to one and s flag is equal to one and digital right relay is high so and we will turn on the relay so when i remove my hand uh, so then this uh, condition will be true that if digital read sensor is equal to is equal to high check if there is nothing in front of the sensor the s flag is zero and delay is uh, 100 milliseconds which is a very small delay so now the s flag is again changed to zero but the flag is equal to one remains as one so if digital read sensor is equal to is equal to check if there is a hand for example second time when i put my hand in front of the sensor and flag is equal to is equal to one which was already changed and s flag is equal to zero so if flag is equal to zero digital read relay low and s flag is equal to one so it will turn off the solenoid valve so this is a very small and very basic program and this program just works as a toggle as a toggle function that we, that one time you put your hand in front of the sensor it will turn on the solenoid wall and the second time you put your hand in front of the sensor it will turn off the solenoid wall so now let's start the interfacing and upload the program and uh, check how it works so now let's upload the program Okay, now I will explain the connections. Okay, now so this is the solenoid valve, and I have uh, soldered two wires. The one wire is connected directly with a 12 volt, <coughs> and the ground wire is connected with the normally open of the relay, and then the common pin of the relay is connected with the other pin of this whole night valve and now this uh, relay has the same components which I explained this is the relay SPAT relay and this is a 2 into 2 transistor and this is the 10 10k resistor and this is the wire which is connected with uh, pin number 13 of the Arduino and this is the diode which is used for the big MF protection and now Actually, this circuit is not included in this because this is the edge bridge in my upcoming video tutorial. 
I will explain this circuit. I will use this edge bridge to control the DC gear motor. This is the 12 volt and these two wires are coming for the plus 12 volts and a ground and um, these will be used for the relay to turn on the relay and this external supply is for the solenoid valve this is the infrared sensor this wire is the 5 volt the gray is the ground and the white is the output signal which is connected with pin 4 of the Arduino and these two wires and these two wires are for the edge bridge which I told you I'm not using so just ignore these two wires and so this is the relay uh, wire which is connected with pin number 13 this is the ground for the circuit and this is the the output coming from the infrared sensor so that's all the same circuit which I explained so now let's use this I've already uploaded the program so that is when I you can see that's operating so it can be turned on and turned off now this is ready for the installations all we need is just to uh, connect to it with the pipe with the water pipe over here and we we can just control it automatically so that's it that's how it works there's no abnormal operation works perfectly and so if you like my video subscribe to my channel like and share my videos with your friends and thanks for watching